Uh, you know, I wish that I could come up with a different topic once in a while, but so oftentimes it's the same subject. People screwing around and messing up your food orders when you go out to get something. And, you know, I'll tell you folks, I could make a rant video every time this happens, but it happens so frequently these days in this world that we're in at this particular time that I, I, I'd be making every video about it. So I have to pick and choose which ones are a little more standout that warrant making a video. And here it is, all right? The other day, I was going to my local record store and when I go to my record store, you know, I meet with a bunch of the guys, you know, we hang out and sometimes we get lunch, you know, whatnot. So I went over there to the deli. The deli is like a, you know, block or so away. And I go there just about every time I'm there. They're good people. We get along well. They're nice. I like the owner. But people are always screwing up orders. Now, now let me say from the outset... It's not just this deli, it's any deli, almost any restaurant, almost anywhere you go today, because it's not this place itself, rather, it's a phenomenon, it's something in the culture, it's a, it, it, it's a mindset, and, uh, you know, I go up there to the register, to the counter to order a sandwich, all right, I know what it is I want. And there's a young girl there, she's as young as, as can be on a register, I'd say 18 maybe. She's on the register, she's a teenager. And a lot of times, folks, this is not a matter of an older guy picking on the young people. I'm just telling you it's what it is. I think with the, with the way the society is now and the iPhones, there, there is no attention span anymore. Well, anyway, this young lady... She's there. She says, uh, can I help you? So I said, yes. Now, I knew, as I always know, that I have to be very clear, enunciate every word carefully to make sure there is no mishap. So I say, yes, I'd like a chicken salad sandwich on a roll with lettuce and tomato. She says to me, chicken cutlet? I said, no, chicken salad. Oh, okay. On a, on, a, on a roll, right? Yes, on a roll. And what ha what she does is, at this particular delicatessen, they type in the or the sandwich order, and I guess somebody else on, on the side reads it and gets the, the memo and makes the sandwich, all right? So then she starts to ring up my total. And I say, wait, 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 wait a minute, don't ring me up yet. I'm not done yet, you know? Oh. So I'm looking, I notice there's a Greek pasta salad. So uh, I say to her, I'd also like to get a quarter pound of the Greek pasta salad. She pauses and looks. She says, this here? I said, yeah, the Greek pasta salad. And she goes, and how much of it? I said, a quarter pound. She's not listening to anything. And I'm going out of my way to enunciate, to be loud, clear, slow. And this happens not just this young lady, but any young person this happens to. I don't know why. It's just the way the culture is, the way society is, the way the internet is, the way they're they grown up. They're not paying attention. Simple as that. So finally, I get my order. Thank you very much. I go down to my record store. I open up the bag. Take the sandwich out. Guess what? No lettuce! tomato what now the sandwich wasn't made by this lady this young girl this sandwich was made by uh, an older woman uh, middle age in her 40s you know she she screws up a lot of orders too she's she's always messing up orders but I don't know where the mistake came I don't know whether it was the young the young person who took the order didn't didn't hear or didn't think lettuce and tomato when I plainly said it, or whether it was the woman making the sandwich who got the memo of lettuce and tomato but just forgot it. 
And I, I was really irate. And I'm telling you, and the reason is, and please, I don't want to hear everybody, oh, third world problems. Oh, like there's people starving in other countries. You're worried about lettuce and tomato. It's the fact, folks, that this happens every single time. Or if not every single time, seven out of ten times. It's this it, it, you can you can count on it. So I didn't go back. I was going to go right back and complain. I didn't. But what happened was later in the day, about two, three hours later, a friend of mine came into the store and we were talking and we decided to go. But he wanted to go back there. He wanted to go get something. And I went with him. And as long as I was going back with him, taking the walk, I said, I think I'll mention it. So I just casually mentioned, I said, excuse me. I said, but, you know, blah, 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 blah. There was the mistake less lesson tomato. And, you know, I did explain it, you know, and I, at first. She was a little uh, taken aback, and she's like, "Well, you know, I make I make like sixteen sandwiches a day. Look, that's no excuse. It cost me fifteen dollars for a sandwich, the little salad I had on the side, and a bottle, of, a tall bottle of water. It cost me fifteen dollars. I'm paying good money. I want my order right. It's just frustrating, folks. And the reason it's so annoying, and it seems like a little thing, granted, in, in, in the big picture of life's grand scheme it's a very little thing but the problem is it's becoming more frequent it's becoming predictable it's becoming to the point where you can't trust anybody it's you know it's going to happen and, and 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 not just in food places if you go to the bank if you go i don't know where you go to get you go to the gas station your car get your car done or wherever you go Go to the doctor's office. They, I've walked into doctor's offices and they're like, you, you have an appointment today? I said, yeah, I have an appointment. I made the appointment two weeks ago. You even get, you sent me on my phone a thing to confirm. I confirmed the appointment. I pressed yes. Okay, see you there. And now you tell me we have no record of your appointment. That's another rant. But you see, it's everywhere, folks. Rant over for today. <laughs>